Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. It's been quite a while, and yes, my mom's yelling at my brother right now. So, <laughs> today I'm going to be doing the top 5 levels in Super Mario Run, so enjoy that. The first level that we are going to be taking a look at is called Make the Cut. It's the Green Corn Special Course. Um, it's really long, tedious, and hard, and... But the reason I put it on this list is because, like, it actually offers a challenge. No shots at you, Nintendo, but this game is really, really easy. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, most of the game, I beat in a day. Like, I beat this game until the special world in a day. And, um, yeah, that, that was nice. Um, and you can see how hard it is by how terribly I'm doing here. It feels like a Kaizo level, but that's a refresher from all the easy crap we were doing, we were getting. Also, sorry about the loss of music because, like, reasons. Number four on this list is called Dark and Stormy. Now, a while ago, I thought it was, like, the most creative level. It has a really, really good concept. Um, again, the volume, for some reason, won't work. Um, that's why I was turning it up in the middle of the, the level. Um, but it gets really annoying when there's just booze constantly, constantly just, like, killing you. And but I like how, like... It, they like turn into coins after it becomes light but I it's kind of like really annoying like to see the constant changes but it is a really creative concept and um, I award Nintendo for that. At number three we have um, airship plunder so I really love the concept of how you have to jump on all the bob bombs to get the things to explode and you get a star at the end obviously it's possible to get the green coin without the star but it's a little bit harder and you have to like break the boxes to reach the, the um green coins and all and i just think it's a really fun stage it's really unique and i especially love the double boom boom fight at the end like one of them's filled with coins and it's just it's like a really unique boss experience which is something we have not been getting in super mario run so far so this is why this makes number three on the list but what could actually be better let's find out level three in the special world which makes number two on this list um is built around the concept of these fishing boos that, well, they taunt you, because the level's called Fishing Boo Taunts You, um, until you collect basically what they're holding or get hit. I've never gotten hit by these things, and you can actually jump on them and walk through them. I didn't find out you could jump on them until this recording. I'm not even kidding. Um, you can also see the costume change here. So you're practically uh, invincible against these guys. And then they give you an invincibility star. Like, what? <laughs> Either way, it's still a good stage. And I really think it's a unique concept that Nintendo should use more often. Like, they used a lot of new concepts. Like, maybe they had the special world and they were going to think that peop that this game sucked. And then release a special world and everyone's just like, whoa. And and the best super mario run level is wild slope so i actually got the idea for this video when i just got this recording for no reason um i tried to make a new one and it was crappy so i made this one now i've been trying to unlock this level for so freaking long like i was playing world one two trying to get 400 coins for so long it's not even funny oh shut up dad <laughs> anyways um so, like, I really like the slopes concept and all the jumping. It just, it looks really appealing. I just love the level. Like, I don't know why. I mean, here's me failing. The reason why I had a bad day. Well, there's three different reasons, but okay. <laughs> I guess that's the end of the video. Um, thanks so much for watching. So, yeah, peace out, my baby Yoshis. <laughs> Woo! <laughs>